Hi everyone, Arjun on the page and I'm starting with some acrylic paint. I've got here some daffodil a yellow which I'm going to put here if it will <laughs> get out of this. Yeah, that's the end of it. I'll probably need more. All my my deco art acrylics are old. I need to finish them. So I've got and this one is lush foliage and i'm also putting some white so i will have something to play with in the background and well let's see not sure a uh, completely sure <laughs> what's going on i'm starting with the yellow and just going like this and dipping into the white and once again into the yellow just so I will have variation and now I'm going into the green and again into the white I'm kind of uh, letting everything blend together. This paint is so old, it has all kinds of like paint booger. What can I say? Okay, so this needs to dry, and let's just use the excess paint in my excess paint notebook. Let's find some page really doesn't matter sometimes these are the most beautiful pages that I can find the ones that I didn't think of I just wiped excess paint on and this is just the start when I will have uh, something to clean like a stencil or something else or stamps then pattern will go on top of it and then I will have an interesting painty paper so putting this aside and as I said this needs to be dry I'll be back okay so this is dry and I want to add some pattern to the back I'm going to use this a uh, circle stencil and start a uh, stenciling with white and I've picked some white acrylic painted that isn't so great quality <laughs> what do I mean by that that it's runny and it's not opaque and that's what I want for here I just want a hint of the circles in the back I don't want white opaque circles in my background now if I want to make them more visible I can always change to another white acrylic paint that is better quality or I can and even with a better quality sometimes it's still not completely uh, visible then you just wait for it to dry and just go and do another layer I am not even concerned about it being a uh, precise or anything I'm just spreading the circles all over my background now I think that I'm thinking about it I could have used a white pearlescent paint it would give my page some to the circle some shimmer and it would be translucent and still be in the back but that's good enough as I said it doesn't have to be anything precise I'm just spreading the circles And whatever will be will be this is just one more layer 
not sure how much it would be visible but it's there so if I have a place that I don't have anything and I feel it needs I'm just adding some more circles don't know if you can see it maybe if I'll tilt, I'll tilt the page you can see it so I haven't bothered doing here more circles it doesn't matter to me I wanted them more here next <laughs> this needs to dry and then I want to add more pattern and details to my background it's still just a background and I'm uh, going for some poppies I'm in a spring mood we are going to do some abstract poppies so easy to make you won't believe it so I'm going to let this dry on and I'll come back okay next phase I've got this stencil this one from Aliexpress this one from Stamperia I want some wild flowers in the back but I don't want them to overwhelm uh, the page it just needs to stay in the back so I'm taking some distress inks I've got here fossilized amber crushed olive and maybe spiced marmal marmalade I don't know if I will use them all I'm starting with the yellow and I'm taking a makeup brush this is how it gives a very soft a impression on the page I'm starting here and I'm not putting pressure I'm just doing it like this I can lift it and look how it looks good enough I can continue it just need to be like a shadow in the back nothing else let's see yeah maybe I will uh, try for the crushed olive I'm not sure yet I'm just playing with what I've got let's see moving on again doing it very lightly yeah that works I don't want it to overwhelm my page let's put this one let's see okay it work it's working and you can overlap it really doesn't matter it's part of the background that's the whole purpose part of the background very soft a hint in the back let's see maybe I'll try <laughs> very gently the orange let's see very lightly When you are doing it, you can hardly see it. Okay. So as long as I don't put too much pressure, it works. And I'm just continue layering all these flowers in the back. Yeah, I like it. Okay, I'm going again for the crushed olive because I have some grass here, so I think. It will be nice here and still this is as I'm, I told you it's just part of the background so 
so I really am not concerned about being precise. Okay, let's do some more of this, the flowers here with the orange. Let's see. Ooh, I like it. Okay, let's see. Let's put some more of this here. What's more to towards the bottom, I'm trying to make it just a little bit more uh, dark. So these are more faded and as I'm going here it's darker and I put a little bit more pressure just adds to to the whole I don't know what to say <laughs> let's see still feel like I have some spaces that are like with nothing so I'm just going and adding a little bit more detail yeah Yeah, it's taking shape. What else? Mm -mm -mm. Almost done, I think. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, we've got the background. I'm going to put it aside. And now we are going to make some a uh, abstract uh, poppies. And you only need some kind of a sponge. Uh, almost any kind will work, okay? And like I have this one, most of them are uh, quite thick. So most of the time I will just cut them in the middle these two were from this like so and they were it's too thick so i just cut it uh, in the middle and now i have these two pieces and the shape that you are uh, going for i'll take uh, some marker just so you will see here i've got some curves so i i'm using it as i said this was like here so if you have something like this, then great. If not, just make your own uh, curve. And basically you want like almost half a circle. It doesn't have to be accurate at all. And then some wavy line like this. And here I've got this. And I think I will trim it like that. And it really doesn't matter. And you will see in a minute why. You can also use scissors if uh, it's easier for you. Nothing has to be accurate. It really doesn't matter. So.
so and the only thing that I do try to do if I want uh, to make some flowers and it doesn't matter if it's um, abstract flowers I will try and do always do two sizes so I will have variation to play with so let's see let's do this one a smaller one whatever yeah here we go any kind of a uh, sponge if I have something like that I can also uh, just cut it to shape okay moving along now so we've got this too and you're taking a plastic bag and you take one corner and you make this kind of a knot very very simple okay just a knot like this and now you are opening the plastic bag and flipping it over now you want this knot to be at the bottom and i will explain in a minute so that's the bottom of my flower and I'm going to take it like this and I'm going to make wait a minute it moved so okay now you can just hold it or uh, put some cello tape here or you can make another knot the only thing is that you keep this knot at the bottom of the flower that you are planning to make so I'm just doing like this and I'm going to make a knot so it will stay in place I hope it doesn't always stay in place here we go so this is one and I will do the same thing for this one and now I advise to take some white page from a pad something that you can work with not printer paper you want something a little bit more solid you can do it on printer paper but it's better to do it on a, something a little bit more thick now of course you can stamp it this is a, like a stamp going to be like a stamp of course you can stamp it directly on your page in your art journal but I prefer to do it like this and then I can cut it and play with the placement and don't have to worry about printing something that won't co be uh, completely <laughs> like I wanted it to. I'm taking Blake here and two shades of red. I've got some tomato. And I've got, what's this? Flame red, it says. Like so. And let's take a pellet knife. And I'm going to spread this. And it mixes a little bit with the, with the black, I don't care. And now I'm going to take my stamp and that now it depends how much black I want at the bottom so I'm placing my <laughs> stamp <laughs> because I don't have any other uh, words for this like this I'm dipping it lifting it and printing okay again I can do as, as many as I have, I still have paint here and of course I can switch to uh, the other uh, sponge and make uh, other sizes. I think for this particular page I will just stay with this 
and it's okay if the colors are mixing and the less paint you have on this the more uh, like veins you will get from the plastic bag so now here I have got too much black I can always put more paint like this and I can go back and do like this so you can play with it how, however you want so I still got some paint here so of course it's going into the same notebook yeah I think this three will, bo you will do and I will do some stamps and I will have one nice painty paper still got more paint so always it's good to take another page and just have fun with it whatever will be will be I'm moving this a little bit aside and now I'm just playing and I will have one more painty paper to play with okay so that this is it just sponge with a plastic bag okay so this needs to dry and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some details to each flower and then we we'll, we're going to cut them and put them on the page I'll be back okay so I fussy cut <laughs> almost fussy cut three poppies and just want to show you something so this is one of the prints and of course you can go around it you can decide if you don't like this section you can trim it if you want a smaller flower you can just cut it to size if I want my poppy to be like this then that's what I'm going to do now it doesn't look much uh, right now but it will take shape when I'm finished with this so I can have a smaller one and I can just play with the shape to whatever I want I'm not sure if I'm going to use it we'll see maybe just one more so that's part of the uh, print that you can do and I've already cut a leaf shape here it is doesn't look much but we are going to do the same thing we've done to make the poppies we are doing to make leaves okay so maybe I will have something like that okay so as I said don't look it doesn't look much but it will uh, be better in a minute so I'm going to start with the one I want here so I'm taking this uh, now you can fill it uh, with red if you want in places that you don't have you can go and take any kind of marker like I'm thinking I'm going to do some gold in some of the veins that I got from this print this doesn't work let's take another one again you can use white whatever you like i'm just using this gold this is a uniball a signal pen i really like it really works for me now i'm not sure yet if i i'm going to you uh, leave the white here and the white here is going to go green so first of all i'm going to put some glue in the back I'm not uh, gluing all the flowers at once because it would be easier for me each one each time so I can make 
네. <웃음> forgot the, the, the word the stem yeah the stem is so easier now I've got all kinds of markers I've got the permanent mar alcohol based permanent marker I've got two acrylic uh, markers I've got Posca I've got Zig I'm not sure yet I'm going to start with this one like so I'm coloring here and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I think I really like it. Yeah. So, I've got my uh, leaf shape. And once again, I'm doing a knot at one of the corners. Flipping it over. Putting the knot where I want the veins to start so here at the bottom of the leaf wait <laughs> working on it so basically I'm doing the same thing I'm going to put this like so and then I'm going to dip it into a shades of green and stamp leaves and then continue to the next flower okay so i'm going to start <laughs> just try and put it in place and i'll be back okay so I'm, uh, I've done the leaves the same way. I just stamp them, cut them to size that I wanted, and just uh, it was too smooth, so I went in with the scissors and did some uh, indentation. I don't know, <laughs> just so it won't be completely smooth. And now the only thing that I'm going to do is glue them and add maybe little uh, veins with gold like I've done here so now the only thing I have to do is continue with the same thing uh, finish placing these two leaves and then start again putting a flower drawing a stem putting the leaves and so on so I'll be back okay so <laughs> finished putting all the flowers and the leaves and I went and added a little bit more to each leaf with the permanent marker and more uh, veins with the gold and this is it that's my page I hope you liked it thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below I'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now